Wait! Who are you? I already told you I don't want to be with you anymore. You, you! Hello world and welcome to another one of my videos. Last week we reacted to Danielle. She went on a very, very nice date. And the best way to describe it is, do you remember that one scene from Dumb and Dumber? When are we ever gonna catch a break? Hi y'all. Hey Alihupa. Hey guys. We're going on a national bikini tour. And we're looking for two oil boys who can grease us up before each competition. You are in luck. There's a town about three miles that way. I'm sure you'll find a couple guys there. <laughs> That's exactly what the date reminded me of. Danielle had her best chance. A man in her league, completely interested in her. One in a million. What does she do? Starts talking about Muhammad. <laughs> I feel so bad. Starts talking about Muhammad and how he said that she peed. <laughs> I need a minute because this is going to be hard. So, <laughs> and then the episode ends. And in this week, we will have to see what happened. I hope it, I hope she saved it. <laughs> I hope she find, she found a, a way to maneuver it, but it didn't look promising. Let's get into it. My ex-husband, he said some pretty harsh things. That's one of the things that's held me back from dating. I need a minute because this is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, I need to not laugh. This is literally where it ended last week. And it was so sad to witness because the date was going smoothly. It was going so perfect. You can watch my last video. It was actually the nicest thing that she ever had on any season, actually. And then she blew it up. I hope she can recover. But I'm just telling you, this is where they left it last week. <laughs> Okay, what? <laughs> she's crying. Her cheeks are literally drier than bread. Your tears are social distancing from your cheeks. Let's not be too skeptical of the show. <laughs> but why is she crying without no tears though? On my second day with Robert, I am really scared to tell him about my divorce from Muhammad because it hurts so bad. <laughs> I, I've never had to tell it to another man before the things that he said about me, so it's like hard. But it's part of my past. No, it's fine. You know what it is? Listen, I, I, this is this is just a theory, just on the top of my head. Every time TLC, every time something is brought up on the show, TLC puts a little montage about it. You know what I mean? Like a flashback thing. But never have they ever put a montage of Mohammed saying to Danielle, you, sm you smelled and you peed on me. They never put it. Why? Because maybe it never existed. All I remember and what the majority of people remember is her actually spilling the beans and he confirmed by saying, yes, you do. You know what I mean? And the second thing is, even if, even if he mentioned the smell, I literally heard it more from Danielle than I actually <laughs> I heard it more from Danielle than I heard it from Mohammed. Okay. It makes me more nervous that I don't know how he's going to react. But I need to get it off my chest. So I'm laughing because my cat is literally licking my toes right now. <laughs> <laughs> my cat talks is literally licking my toes and it was <laughs> okay that was random i'm sorry i'm sorry it's not dislike wordy though but it's still random <sighs> sorry no i <laughs> you're the first guy that i'm telling this to except you said it many times on national tv but my ex-husband he had said that um that no man would ever want to sleep with me because he was accusing me of accusing melon and stuff like that <laughs> and i've just now started 
facing that because in order to get back out in there into the dating world, I have to let my guard down and let someone in. Isn't that the concept? <laughs> you went on three dates without knowing the cause. Oh, if I go, if I go dating, oh wonder, I have to let people in in my life. The second thing is, or the third thing, I keep saying second thing, like a fifth thing is, isn't it a little bit irrelevant? If you smell no more, why do you have to bring it up? Or you could turn it into something positive. Be like, hmm, you know what my ex said? My ex said I smell. We can confirm it tonight that I actually... <laughs> <laughs> that I, I'm turning her into a hoe. But she literally can have so many openings to turn this into a positive thing. I understand. Because I've had some of the same issues. My ex -wife. Oh, he's smelly too? Kind of the same way. Always been told you weren't good enough or you're too big or you're too that. But you try to get past it. Mm -hmm. I have pretty bad self-esteem issues myself. You just always wonder if you are good enough but, or it, and it hurts. Like you said, it's it's a big thing being told that by someone that you're that you're in love with or yeah. you were in love with. So, I mean, yeah. I understand. I, I realize uh, uh, he, he's a robot. There is no way this man is this nice on this show. It's the show of Big Egg. It's the show of Colty. It's the show of Mohammed, Hassan, Rebecca, all of them. But <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no way that this man, this nice exists on 90 days. But kudos for like, if Danielle's ruined this one, I'm really, this is her best shot. I'm just calling it. This is her best shot. Always had self-esteem issues because I've always been on the heavier side. And sometimes I feel like that I'm not good enough. You want someone that loves you? They're gonna help you, build you up, and not build you down, not talk bad about you, but support you, make you a better person. Yeah. That's as partners, that's what you're supposed to do is make your partner yeah. better. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. I mean. Yeah. When Robert started telling me about his own past, it made me feel good that he was able to open up about his insecurities too. But I miss Muhammad though. I'm proud of you, Danielle. You did absolutely nothing, but you still did good in the date. And it showed me that he is a caring person. I'm a slower person. I don't really... I, I'm slow too. I'm not one to go sleep around with people and stuff like that. I... Oh, that's what you meant. People be making their, making their way to so 100 million thousand. I'm making my way straight to hell. <laughs> I'm dying straight to hell. Uh, build up. No. Build a relationship and trust and all yeah. that. Definitely. I think they're getting ready to close here. So if you're ready to go, we can grab yeah. our stuff and take off. Does I'm that work ready. for you? Yep. Okay. Oh, the iconic sip. <laughs> she had to leave her mark. Danielle had like she's 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 in it like like I'm not leaving without my little. I think all of us have baggage, but there's no baggage that can stop a good relationship or a relationship from happening, and that's kind of how I feel about Danielle. You don't. There's no baggage that's gonna stop you from seeing somebody. But they actually look so cute, what the f- <laughs> They actually look so nice together. I hope it works between them. T only time will tell, only time will tell. Well, that was fun. Yes. I do uh... You're the first person that always opens the door for me. <laughs> 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 yeah. No problem. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, he opened the door. He brought her flower on that date, opened the door for her, comforted her when she was insecure. He gave her a kiss and everything. Oh, it felt good to be kissed. Um, I was a little <laughs> off guard, but it felt good. In Ramadan too, it's, <laughs> it's Ramadan. He kissed her in Ramadan. You see, you, you just need to find your someone. <laughs> Okay, relax, it's music, I'll get copyrighted. This date is uh, surprisingly so nice. Wow. Well, it was great going Thank out. Thank you. Hopefully we can do it again. Yes. All right. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Have a good <laughs> yeah, night. I had fun. I did too.
See you later. <laughs> I am feeling pretty good right now. This is the best date that I've ever had. I got two kisses tonight, not just one, but two. They were PG, but they were still kisses. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I would take a PG kiss any any day of the week. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Thanks for a great night. Talk to you later. And he gave her a message too. What a script. If this man, like, listen, if Danielle was asking, hey, send me the perfect man for me, this man would land. This one. <laughs> If even if you gave her a recipe to make a perfect man, she wouldn't be able to make this guy. He literally did everything nice for her, and she still somehow will manage to find a way to include Muhammad and still damage the relationship. I'm calling it. I'm just calling the shots. Now I'm being too negative, but I I, I will tell you why. Right now, Robert is checking all the boxes. I can see a third and a fourth date with him. You gonna lay down? Or go to bed? It's time to go night night. <laughs> okay, and there's the dog. But that's it for this video. He's checking all the boxes except two. Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad and he's not young. I hope Danielle is not as shallow as the show portrayed her. Uh, when it comes to her friends, they're always so much younger. When it comes to the dates that she's been to previously, they were all a lot younger. So this is the only time that she's been with someone in her in her age bracket, seemed compatible with her, local to Ohio, like so many things going her way. Hope she doesn't ruin it somehow, but that's it for this video. Conclusion. <sighs> I'm just so happy Danielle didn't ruin it.